microbes down in Virginia. They got bug catching kits out here for the Easter baskets. Isn't that cute? We've got the buckets up here. We've got the goofy string, the nets, the bubble wands, that outdoor fun ankle skippers, the chalk that I showed you guys, and the kitchen play set, foam gliders. We've got some Avengers. What are these? Oh, um, they're like little squishies. So that's the Hulk right there. So we're calling them Spider-Man. We got this one. And they're just squishy, y'all. Look at that. We got the vehicles. Most of the stuff we've already seen. So if I see anything new or different, we got the Disney. What are these? Surprise stamper sets. That's my first time seeing that one. And they have that one. Um, surprise eraser sets. And this is Puppy in My Pocket, Puppy in My Pocket, Dorables, Dorables, Season 5. Lord have mercy. My girl Kat, she loves these things. She shows them on her channel almost every day. We've got some monster trucks that I already showed you. Got some brain teasers, some flip flop. Disney softy dough. Yeah, so it's most of this stuff we've already seen. But these are like Easter basket stuffers. Squishy toys. Medical play sets. We've got the bigger balls down here. Alright. Let's move on. See what else they have. You guys, I see they restocked these um, glass nail fallers. Remember they had these a while ago. I still have mine in my purse, but they're cute. Uh, see, that's the only thing new I'm seeing besides the peachy, cheeky peachy stuff I already showed you. And those nails I found all the way down in Emporia, Virginia. Now they're here at my store. Yep, that's how it goes. Patience is a virtue, Sadie. These are cute. Are these new? Or are these from something else? Makeup blender sponges. Um, the decorations are only on the outside of the box, so don't get too excited thinking it's on the blender. Then they have these makeup removal pads. Pretty much the same stuff we've had, just different packaging. I guess for Valentine's. Valentine's is over now, right? It's not my jam, so I don't know. I don't keep up with it. Alright, you guys, I'm heading home. I gotta get up and go to work early in the morning so I just wanted to stop off real quick and see if they had anything new anything different but I'm tired I'm going home I gotta get a shower and go to bed hello my sweets welcome back to my channel sweet Sadie J TV happy Friday to everyone I hope you all are getting ready to enjoy a nice chilly weekend because it is supposed to be really cold here this weekend in North Kakalaki, but that's okay. I like the cold. But today I have a very small Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys, and I'm going to jump right into it because I'm ready to go to bed. Working those poles is not a hard physical job. It's just a long, long day, and you can get exhausted just from it being so long. But anywho, I digress. Let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. Okay, my sweets. The first item I'm going to show to you is from the Dollar Tree Plus section, but it was on clearance for half price. It's one of the melanated Valentine elves. They had two out there, but one looked like his head was broken or his hat was broken. It was bent all the way back here. But there is a wire up here in the hat where you can straighten it out. But I didn't want the other one. I just wanted this one. Things like this used to scare me back in the day, like these big, tall, skinny ones. But I just could not resist it for $2.50. So I grabbed them. I'm going to put them away for next um, year for Valentine's. But like I said, he was $2.50. He's got a little heart on his hand that says, Happy Valentine's Day. 
and he's melanated. <laughs> I just could not resist it. You see his big old shoes? I was just like, oh, this is so cute. You could probably put him out for Christmas. I don't know, but I'll work it out. For $2.50, I grabbed him. And I had to hurry up and show him to you before I forgot because all the other stuff is here on my table. I'm back into my dining room. My sister went back to my other sister's house for a little while. And then she'll come back here for a little while until, you know, she gets established. But I told you guys in the last, I think, haul, grocery haul, that I wanted to pick up some pecans from the Dollar Tree. And I went to pick them up that day and got distracted talking to somebody and forgot. But I did go back and get two more packs of the Nature's Garden pecans. We've seen these before. They typically come out around the holiday during the baking time. But a lot of stuff came out after the holidays, y'all. Like the cranberry sauce and a few other items. But anywho, I just like to eat these plain as part of my, you know, healthy snacks. Like a handful of pecans or walnuts. Oh, and I still have a big bag of the pistachios from the food pantry. These are good until January 1st, 2025. And they are a small 1.5 ounce um, bag. And I did pick up two of them. So, yeah, I'll be packing these in my lunch next week. Two days this week. <sighs> and then we got to do it all week long. We don't have to work next Saturday, but Saturday after that we have to work. And then I showed you guys these in a previous walkthrough. These are new to me. I've never seen these, y'all. These are the Mike and Ike cotton candy, strawberry, and lemon flavored cotton candy. And I typically don't eat stuff like this. But I just was curious. And I just want to taste a little piece. And then I'll just probably pass it on. It's Best Buy. is eleven twenty four. They had two different flavors. I think they had a cherry and something. I can't remember, maybe a strawberry and cherry, and they had a strawberry and lemon, and I got the strawberry and lemon. And I wanted to open them up just to see what it looks like. Uh, let's see, Mike and Ike cotton candy, y'all. Woohoo! Uh-oh, there's no tear here. Oh, boy. Let me see if I can get this open. Hold on okay, my sweets. I needed scissors to cut that baby open. Smells fruity. Let's see. Eh, smells like cotton candy. It looks like this. You got pink and yellow. And that's the only two colors I'm seeing is pink and yellow. And let's take a little piece. Mm. Really, really sweet. I guess the pink is supposed to be the strawberry and the yellow is supposed to be the lemon. So I'm tasting a little bit of strawberry out of the pink. Hmm. Let's try the yellow. Here's the yellow. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not getting a lemon. And it really does look yellow, but... I'm not getting, can y'all see that? Okay, maybe a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I'll probably just end up passing this on because y'all know as a diabetic, I don't need to be eating stuff like this, but I was just so curious to see what it tastes like. You can taste a little bit of the strawberry in the pink, but I'm not getting lemon at all. So it just tastes like cotton candy. So I got one bag of that, and now know the big kid that I'm at that I am. I saw the Disney the Little Mermaid sticker activity surprise um, egg, and they had I think I showed you guys the Mickey Disney Jun Mickey Junior Transformers and Avengers I believe, but I just had to have this to add it to my collection of my Little Mermaid stuff and my Black Panther. I'm getting ready to try to put up a couple of shelves in my room so that I can display those and I'll take pictures and insert clips for you guys and let you see what they look like. And then I just went and found these little two packs of the Crest Scope mini brush, mini, um, mini brush, no water needed, 
breath freshener just to put in my purse like today i could have really really used a toothbrush at work because one lady made some cake and we all were trying it but you see the little hooks down there so you get these little mini toothbrushes and you get two in here and they look like this on the back so you got the tongue cleaner you got the toothpick and then you got the little toothbrush with the mouthwash in it scope mouthwash I thought that was pretty cute for a dollar twenty-five. Put it in my purse, have it there. Okay, my right. sweets. The next item I purchased was one of the Spring Fleen 12-piece silver plastic cutlery, and I buy these every year. And they come in so handy when I have to work the poles. I can put this whole pack in my um, backpack, and I've already used one spoon out of it to eat my yogurt and granola and banana and strawberry parfait. Ooh, y'all, I'm telling you, that stuff is so good. <laughs> I love that parfait with just the strawberries, but when I added some sliced bananas into it, it just kicked it up to another whole level. And I mean, I'll be enjoying it. You think I'm eating an ice cream sundae or something, eating yogurt and granola and fruit. But yeah, I buy these every year, at least one pack. In the purple, y'all know they have yellow green and blue maybe I'm not quite sure because all I see is purple <laughs> and I just grab the purple and you get like I said 12 pieces so forks knives and spoons so I grabbed a pack of those and then I saw these and these look new to me I don't know if they had them last year or not but y'all can correct me if if I'm wrong this is a happy Easter wood beads it says for ages three plus but you get 60 different pieces of wood um, beads in here. Green, yellow, pink, blue, and white. I believe that's white. Yeah, it might be white. But I was like, what? <laughs> 60 pieces of um, wood beads. So we can make our own beads, right? I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting those. Even if I don't never get the time to sit down and make something. Because I got the bunnies, the rabbit, and the carrot all last year. So, I had to get those. I just thought they were so cute. So, I got a pack of those. And then, I picked up two of these little baskets um, by Storage Essential. These are all Greenbrier items, y'all. And I wanted the pink ones, too. And I, where I found these at the little Dollar Tree, they only had the green ones and one gray one left. But my large Dollar Tree has all the colors, so hopefully when I go back there, I'll get two pinks. If the idea that I have to use these works out, I'm going to take a picture of it and um, put it in my next video to show you guys. But I bought these for the bathroom to hang on the walls to help store my um, headbands and my scrunchies. And I already have the hangers in there, so... We're going to see how this works out, but these are so cute, and the colors are so nice, and they're very lightweight, so they shouldn't. I saw somebody take um, one of the, oh, it was Sarah from Sensational Finds. She took one of the little wooden chopping boards from the Dollar Tree, and she bent out these two sides to fit the, um, the chopping board down into it, and then she sat it on top where she put fruit in the bottom and fruit on the top. So, but I'm not doing that because I don't want to bend mine out just to fit that chopping board. But I have an idea and I'm hoping it will work. So we're going to put that right vial. And if you guys saw it in my previous walkthrough, they had an Easter explosion at my local large Dollar Tree. When I walked in there last night after I got off from work, I was just like, whoa <laughs> but unfortunately that's all they had at the moment i didn't go there today because when i get off from work i try to go to one dollar tree and then come home and then tonight i went to the smaller dollar tree but these i found at the large dollar tree last um yesterday and i did not see these at the smaller dollar tree today but she was just putting her stuff out these are the totes the, um the reusable totes in the easter decorations and i just thought they were so pretty y'all i could not resist these are the three that i found i don't know if they have another one i have to go back and check really really well because you know i'll be tired when i get off from there so i found this one that just 
pretty much says happy Easter, springtime, egg hunt, um, bunnies and carrots. It's just so pastel with the yellow trim and it's double sided of course. And in the middle it has just like the yellow um, checkerboard in the middle. Isn't that cute? I could not believe these. I had her bust one open and put all my stuff in um, last night. And this was the one that you guys might have seen. The cotton, what is it? Cottontail Farms with all that purple and then that bluish green in the back. That's like all my three colors in, in the same package. My green for my mom, purple, and my blue for me. I'm just like, oh, and then it has the same pattern on the inside. Looks like this. And I bust, I had her, like I said, these are not made for um, heavy, heavy stuff. But they're very deep, and they can hold a lot of lightweight stuff. I love these bags. I see people walking up and down the street carrying three or four bags of groceries from the Dollar Tree or Food Line, and I want to just run to them and tell them, just get you a tote. <laughs> then you could put all those bags in that one tote and only have to carry that one bag. But I, of course I don't, but man, do I want to, because it makes bringing your stuff from your car to your home, whether you have a garage or not, or you park out in the parking lot, it just makes toting your stuff so much more easy when you um easy when you have you know reusable tote bags but anywho i digress <laughs> and then the third one where are we the third one that i found was i i don't know which one's my favorite y'all i love them all but this one says somebody loves you oh my god i love this and y'all know I'm not even a pink girl, but I love this. <laughs> it says, somebody loves you. Oh, isn't that nice? And then it has like the blue little bunnies and carrots on the middle. Oh my God, I thought that was so adorable. Look at that. And like I said, they're not the big, big ones. I know I can get... The giant ones from Roses, you know, for 99 cents, actually 89 cents on Senior Citizen Wednesday. But you don't always need those big bags, you know, and these come in really, really handy. I keep these in the back of my car at all times. So if I'm out and about and I need bags to bring in and I have nosy neighbors where they're always looking and peering, I could put everything in my totes and they don't have any idea what I'm bringing in my house. I think that's the best part. <laughs> okay, coming up, the last few items in this haul today, my sweets. I'll okay, be my right sweets. Back. I showed you guys the um, Easter floor mats that they came out with this year and they did a great job. They did a really, really good job, but I had a hard time. <laughs> trying to decide which two I wanted. But y'all know I was going to get that can't stop the hop, right? Y'all knew I was going to get that one, right? That is so cute. And it's like can't, it says really, really vague up here. Can't stop the hop. I just thought that was too cute, y'all. And look at all the carrots. And y'all know I only need two. One for my front door and one for my patio door. So they had four different ones, but these are the two that I chose and I just love them. And <laughs> you see, this is, I thought this was a sheep or a lamb. Somebody said in their video, it was a chick, but I, I think it's the gnome, the bunny and the lamb. For Easter and then it's got two chicks on the side and it looks like this so you got the chick here and the chick there and then you got the gnome the bunny and the lamb right or sheep you know for the lamb of God I don't know <laughs> but I just love all the Easter eggs and the flowers and you see the eggs over here I just thought this was so colorful y'all know the more colors in it, the more um, it makes me happy, okay? So, 
I'm probably going to put this one on the inside of my patio where I have the rug at now and put this one by the door. But I might even change my mind and go back and get the other two. But I think these two are by far my favorite. So I did pick up two of those Easter mats. And then the last item for today is what everybody's been showing. And I walked past these down in Virginia and said, oh, they look just like the smaller ones that we got last year. And I was like, oh, I don't need those. I got two, three, maybe even four. I think I put some of them in my brother's Christmas gifts and stuff. But these are the Storage Essential Collapsible Baskets. These are unfolded dimensions, 12 inches by 7.9 inches times 6.3 inches. And then you that tells you the instructions on how to assemble it. It's the same as the smaller ones, but it, it came with handles. It's slightly bigger and it came with handles. And it is a Greenbrier product, okay? As soon as I walked into my small Dollar Tree today, this was their weekly um, wow or what are they calling it now? I don't know, something else. Not the weekly wow, but item of the week. Item of the week. And they had it in blue and gray. They had it in the black and gray. They had it in all white and I believe there was another color. Now I had two of the black and grays in my cart and I took one out and put it back because I was like, I really don't need these, but I can, you never know when you can use them. You know, you can use these for so many different things. And of course, you know, they come, you have to, they come folded down. You have to snap them. They look like this. Okay. Just like the smaller ones. The only thing different about these is that they're slightly bigger than the first ones they came out with. And they have the handles. Okay. And you just push these down until they snap. You want to make sure they snap or you're going to have a catastrophe. And you can hear when they snap. And if you don't hear that snap, you want to make sure you get it to where it snaps. Okay. And then you have this. It reminds me of the little baskets at the Dollar Tree and the grocery stores where if you don't want to do a shopping cart, you can just grab one of these little baskets. But I never do because my pocketbook is so heavy. I need a cart just to carry my pocketbook. Yeah, that's right. I said that. <laughs> but I did get the black and gray one and the blue and gray one. And I might just hand them over to my brothers if I don't find a use for it. But like I said, you could put these in the back of your car to help tote your groceries when you're, you know, go grocery shopping. Of course, <clears throat> I already have the bigger ones in the back of my car, so I don't really need them like that, but you never know, right? But for $1.25, I thought these were in the Dollar Tree Plus, but honey, these were the weekly wow right up in the front for $1.25 each. And like I said, they had them in white, the blue and gray, the black and gray, and I think it was the gray and something. They have, I think, four different colors. But that is it for today, my sweets. I think these are fabulous. I've been seeing everyone show them, and I walked past them the first time I saw them when I was down in South Hills, Virginia, and I just said, I don't need those. I got those from last year, but I didn't realize they had handles on them. But anyway, <laughs> love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And welcome, welcome, welcome all my new subscribers, my rider guys. I love and appreciate you so, so, so very much. Everyone have a blessed weekend. Bye, guys. Thank you.